we're going to be taking a look at Kodiak's flexible tandem axle hydraulic line kit. And this is what our line kit looks like when it's installed. We're looking at kind of the main junction block of it. You'll get a four way in your kit. And this is kind of the main spot where everything branches off to. You'll get a 20 foot main line in your kit. And that's this line here. You can see we looped around a little bit of the excess we had. This goes all the way up to the actuator located at the front. You'll also receive two of these smaller lines for connecting into your brakes, except for the ones that we're showing you guys here today are actually not the ones that come in the kit. And I did want to talk about that. I've installed this kit now quite a few times, and I would say maybe every time except for one, I've had to replace these lines here with ones that have a 90 degree fitting, so that way they are long enough to reach our caliper without the line contacting anything. And it's really important that these flexible lines don't contact anything. If this is rubbing up against metal or something, it'll rub through it and then you'll have a line leak. So besides this line though, I do really like this kit. Um, besides that they give you the straight one, I really like this kit because it simplifies your installation. It's much easier to run flexible line throughout your trailer than it is to run hard line. Hard line requires some special tools and if you kink it, you can potentially damage it and then you know, you got to start over. It's a lot harder to damage these during the installation process. Um, the main thing is that once these are installed, you make sure that they're not able to rub on anything that can wear through them. So this, since this is a tandem axle kit, beyond that main line and the little ones we got going to our caliper here, you're going to get two seven, inch, seven foot lines that will go across our axle for the calipers located on the other side. And you'll get a three and a half foot line and this is going to go from our T here to our T here for the further back axle. You can see you get a, a triple T for this side so that way you can go across to the other side. And once again we replace the straight 18 inch line that comes in the kit with that 90 degree uh, for proper clearance. But I wanted to show you guys here so you see how everything is clearing. We have, uh, currently we've got our wheels off the ground, so you can see they, they spin. And it's important to make sure that you've got enough travel, because we, since, uh, since the wheels are off the ground, we know that our axle is as far down as it can possibly go here. So we know we're going to meet our farthest travel, and then also when we go up, we're going to be able to have it go up without it touching things. And that's kind of what we're looking at here is how this line is situated. So that way, as it goes up and down, we can see that it's going to stay away from those uh, components that it may potentially touch. And then I'm going to show you just a little trick. If we um, run down our hose to about right here, this is a little trick you guys can use at home um, if you're having difficulties finding a spot to put this line where it's potentially going to rub something. Uh, you can put some hosing around it and then you can zip tie it. You don't want to zip tie directly to the line though. This plastic will wear through it. Uh, so it's important that you, you put some kind of protector on there. This hose kit is rated for enough pressure for both a drum hydraulic or disc hydraulic system. We're using it for our electric over hydraulic conversion where we took off our old drum assemblies and converted them over to disc and this just saves us a whole bunch of time. Uh, if you're running the physical line it really does add a lot of time to your installation and in my experience with these trailers that are going to the disc brake setups you need a higher pressure for disc brakes to operate than with your drum brakes and while those hard lines worked fine on those drum brakes setups the 1600 psi that's coming out of the actuator for these disc brakes here is really hard on the those metal lines on getting them to tighten down properly i've just found that the fittings on the end of these flexible lines just seem to seal a lot better and i'm not having to barrel down so hard uh, to get these to be able to maintain uh, proper sealing and handling the high pressure that we've got here so i'm pretty impressed by that because just because I've, I've done quite a few of these and every single time i do the a hard line kit i go back through here and i've got a couple of spots that leak and i'm I'm just tightening it so tight. And these are all a softer piece of metal. So even with line wrenches, I feel like we're almost getting to the point where we're gonna strip it uh, with a line wrench. So I, I just get peace of mind with these uh, flexible lines, knowing that when I go together, I'm probably gonna have no problems getting them to seal. And again, you can just route them so much more cleanly, usually than, than your, uh, your hard line. Um, and if you've got some excess, it's a little bit easier to kind of take care of that the way we kind of just coiled up that excess right here. 
So now we're showing off the 20 foot mainline uh, tandem axle kit today, but we do have these available in other length kits. So if you've got a, a shorter trailer, maybe an 18 foot or a longer trailer, like a 30 foot, you can get that main line in different sizes to make sure you've got the appropriate length to go back to your axles. And we also offer this in a single tandem or triple axle kit. So you can get, make sure you got enough hoses uh, to be able to install those. I would say though, in any kit that you get, check out and see if it comes with 18 inch straight lines, you really would probably want to consider um, getting these 90 degree ones to replace those in the kit. Uh, just for, for me, it's mainly a peace of mind thing uh, because the 90 degree also really helps out a lot for the clearance here, not just because of the distance, but just because of the way the line is able to angle. It seems to flex kind of away from our components better than what a straight line would do. Because with the straight lines, you gotta kind of come off one direction and wrap it around. Um, if you go off this direction, you know you're potentially uh, gonna hit the leaf. And then if you go off this way, you're further away, um, which usually that's kind of what we ran into. We were too far away uh, with the distance. So it was just really not a good way to do it. So I, I highly recommend you look at these here. Uh, it's the Kodiak 18 inch 90 degree. It's gonna probably make your system a lot better with this. We'll then just tighten this down into our caliper here. And that completes our installation of Kodiak's flexible tandem axle hydraulic line kit.